So joining <laughs> us now is President and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce, Joyce Donaldson. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Lots of stuff on the calendar. Things are ramping up. We've already covered a couple of ribbon cutting ceremonies mm -hmm. and there's more to come. Uh, the next thing that's on your calendar is the Women of Inspiration Luncheon. Talk about that. Yeah, so we're super excited on May 16th. Um, we will bring out the um, CEO and founders of Dutton Farm. And they're going to come out and they're going to be very inspiring. We took a tour of the Dutton Farm last Friday and I'm just amazed at all the just incredible things that they're doing. Yeah, I've been there a few times and it's an opportunity for people with special needs to have sales positions and yes. to make things and sell things and generate an income. It's, it's really remarkable. We're super excited. Actually, some of the farmers will be at our Women of Inspiration luncheon and they will be selling their soaps and oh, wow. lotions and whatnot. And actually, as a complimentary gift, we are actually giving all of our guests um, um, soap made by Dutton Farm farmers. Uh, so that's at the Beulah Estate at uh, Addison Oaks? That's correct, yes, it's a beautiful venue. Um, last year we had over a hundred women that come um, yeah. just to be inspired and to um, you know be around similar minded professionals you know kind of sharing their struggles being a woman owned business or being a woman in business um, as we all know it's, it's just such a fine juggling act with trying to get the kids off to school make your husband happy your <laughs> family your parents and and homework and all that and try to work so it's amazing so it's a great day of camaraderie yeah now this kind of ties in a little bit to the owl group that you have Talk the orion women professionals new name oh <laughs> new name i, I kind like of owl. now it's owls. Owls. <laughs> oh okay. orion women professionals and the reason um actually we thought about changing the name is we didn't we wanted to sound more inclusive yeah. so that you didn't have to be a leader to be part of this group because I it see. really is just orion women professional women supporting other women professional and same thing with women in business lunch and we did just recently change that to women of inspiration because that's really all about that's what that luncheon is all about is to have inspiring speakers so that you can go out and have a little bit more spring in your step when you know you're supported <laughs> by your fellow um, women entrepreneurs yeah yeah and there's a lot of leaders in the community service aspect of of Lake Orion too a lot of lot of amazing women running uh, organizations like love Inc. And stuff like that. absolutely so, we yeah. had um, in celebration of um, International Women's Day on March 8th we had a sold-out packed room at the Township Hall where we did just a networking luncheon um, last year we did do this particular luncheon on um, International Women's Day, mm. but it felt to me like maybe we would, uh, I would rather have it where um, it's springtime and you know there's more optimism and you know about the flowers blooming right. and everybody yeah. wearing pink and March 8th it was a little cold and the roads were really bad yeah. <laughs> so we changed it till May we'll, we'll see if that works out and then but we did do the um, we did the women professional networking luncheon at the township on International Women's Day and then we'll have another fall luncheon for the um, women business professionals in the fall. And last year, or this year on March 8th, we did, because it was International Women's Day, we featured an internationally inspired cuisine. So it was a strolling buffet of um, eight of our local restaurants that were generous enough to donate uh, really big, big dishes of food. And so it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. Now speaking of women, uh, Mother's Day is right around the corner. Oh yeah, and, you're right. And uh, before before the Women of Inspiration luncheon, you have an event on May 9th called Motherhood Matters uh, Health and Safety Seminar. What's that all about? That is actually put on by Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, we aren't an, a directly um, affiliated with that, but that particular um, Women Matters, I know that a lot of our members will be there and they will be exhibitors, okay. and they are looking for reservations I think you have to sign up to um, to attend the event, but you'll get a lot of free stuff. <laughs> yeah, so lots of good stuff. Now, way off in the distance, let's 
we'll start talking about this now, but I'm sure we'll revisit it later. Uh, the golf outing was such a huge success yeah. last year. That's in July. Um, you're already planning for this year's event? We certainly are. We already had our first golf committee meeting a few weeks ago. So yeah, we're already in heavy, heavy load there. But yes, we plan on having it once again at Paint Creek Country Club. Um, pretty much same format um, as last year. Last year we had 100 golfers and we're hopeful oh. that we'll have 100 golfers. Price, everything stayed the same. Um, and ONTV was out there right along with us at every um, at every tee, yeah, <laughs> basically yeah. filming and interviewing our golfers. It was a great time that was had by all. Now next week is a big week because it is Small Business Week, and so we have lots of activities going on next week. The, yeah. So what what else is going yeah. on? Yeah. So just this morning, actually, we had an educational workshop, which was really well attended. the The room was packed out over mm -hmm. at the Township Library with um, the Lake Orade Review, talking about branding and marketing um, and storytelling. So that was really great. And then. Um, Next week, we have a plethora of events. So we have on Monday, um, our women professionals um, chose to um, work on four philanthropic endeavors this year, and one of them is youth. And so we've been collecting candy um, in our office for the Blessings in a Backpack, and next Monday, mm -hmm. um, about hopefully a dozen women will all convene over at the Cirque building, mm. and we'll put together 350 candy um, bags for the students for their wow. end of the year backpacks. Wow. So that's on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, we have chamber networking groups. So we have a chamber networking group that meets on Tuesday, chamber networking group that meets on Wednesday, and then Thursday, we have a ribbon cutting and following by a networking mixer at the new Orion Boathouse. Oh yeah, I'm oh, looking forward yeah. to that. That'll so, be yeah, really I, great. I drive past that just about every day and you see all the development that's going on there and I see the Boathouse uh, just about every day. What, uh, what can yeah. we expect there? I think there at four o'clock next Thursday, um, we'll be cutting the ribbon. So as you know, um, local uh, legislative representatives come and we um, invite their family members and we invite you know the whole community to come out. So that's four o'clock at Orion Boathouse next Thursday. And then that's followed by a small business networking mixer beginning at 4.30. Um, to 6 30 uh, one of our traditional quarterly networking mixers yeah. so it'll be really nice out there on the patio is what I'm hoping <laughs> <laughs> Good weather, right? yeah. if the weather is good and so they'll have small bites and um, I think you can purchase refreshments and then on Friday we'll do one of the things that I love to do best is to just celebrate our small business so thanks to Genesis Credit Union who is sponsoring um, the uh, small business walk in celebration of small business week so we'll have sweet treats along with seed packets for them to plant uh, seeds. Oh, oh fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember seeing that last year and uh, a lot yes. of the business owners were surprised to see you coming. Yes, oh we just love it. So we usually, <laughs> um, we have our ambassadors and our board members, we all go out in teams with big baskets full of goodies and um, we just want to thank the business owners for keeping their doors open and servicing the community and we do that three times a year. So we did, uh, we do, we love small business at Valentine's day and then we do small business week and then in December we do a holiday business walk and we try to target different areas so I think last uh, time we were in the downtown and last year we did a legislative walk in the downtown in collaboration with the DDA and then this year I think we're gonna hit more like the Baldwin corridor and south M24. Oh okay. So we yeah. try to we try to get different businesses each time, so we're not mm -hmm. hitting the same businesses. And we do anywhere from fifty to seventy-five businesses each walk. Wow, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, and it's amazing. I mean, you know, we're. we're more than halfway through April and we've already had several ribbon cutting ceremonies and it's really great to see that year after year businesses are yes. drawn to the Orion uh, community. Absolutely and the chamber is growing as Orion mm -hmm. Township grows the chamber is really growing too. I think we have 25 new members this year so mm -hmm. far oh. for a total number of about 320 members and what I really love is that they're active members right I mean again this morning 30 people people packed in the library, um, you know, hardly any elbow room. <laughs> um, and you know, our um, 
our women's networking event on International Women's Day was sold out. So we're really excited that those folks are actually getting involved as well. So not just joining, paying their dues, right. but really coming out and you know trying to network and um, grow their business. Yeah. Yeah, and what's great about the ribbon cutting ceremonies is you see all the business owners come out and support each other. Right. So you go to one ribbon cutting ceremony and you see some familiar faces and then they're having their ribbon cutting ceremony a week <laughs> later and everyone right. comes to support right. them. And it's a really great business community where everyone it supports is. everyone. And one of the fun things too is sometimes the folks that are having the ribbon cutting a few months uh, down the line or the next week, they'll come and kind of spy to see how does this go down? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of food should I have? You know, yeah. what family members should be present? Yeah. Yeah, so that's super cool. So I think we have four or five ribbon cuttings on the schedule or about to be scheduled. Um, I know uh, Chic Boutique downtown, it will be mm. the next one. Um, I can't remember the exact date, but will be the next one after Orion Boathouse. All right, that's exciting. So if someone out there owns a business, they want to join the chamber, what, what steps should they take? Yeah, just you can either go online or you can call the chamber. Um, it's Joyce and Jillian. We're always, the two J's are always super happy to help. Um, they can come in. We invite them to come to a couple of events if they're, you know, like on the borders. Just like come and check us out and see if it's a good fit. But, you know, the Chamber provides advocacy um, for businesses, not just to government, but also business to business. We also provide um, educational events, networking events, mm -hmm. opportunities to get your name out there. So. We're there to support small businesses, and it's not just new businesses. It's from small home-based businesses all the way up to big corporate businesses such as General Motors and some of the other large manufacturing businesses. Yeah. So yeah, I'm super excited about the growth. I've been here now 18 months, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, it's the time has really flown by. I love my job, and I, I love helping the business community. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like you said, we've covered new businesses, grand openings, but we've also celebrated milestones of 10 years, 20 years, yep. you know. Exactly. I think Lucky's is now the oldest continuous operating business in, in Lake Orion. 50 years, yeah, 50 years. I see an award in their future. <laughs> 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 we have the Impact Awards in December, and yeah. yes, they are definitely are on my radar. Um, and 50 years is pretty incredible. What a f lovely family-owned business. Yeah, yeah, it's terrific. All right, well, thanks for joining Thank us. You. Always happy to have you stop in and Thank give us so an update. Thank you so much for having me. I sure appreciate it. Sure, we'll have it. you again uh, to talk about all the summer events that are going to be Exactly. Coming, so. Well, thank you. Yeah.